Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry and you're watching Gartified by Sherry. We have a very special guest here today. Dora, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, so in today's video, I'll be sharing the process of creating this artwork right here. I'll be sharing the techniques and the colors that I've used to create this piece. If you think you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So as you guys can see, I've started painting the background with this oblique flat brush and the theme that I have in mind has almost a uniform blue color in the background. That is why I'm just putting the paint all over the canvas. To achieve this background color, I have mixed cobalt blue with sap green and a little bit of white to get this color. One important thing to keep in mind while working with oil paints is to use linseed oil as the mixing medium. It evenly thins out the paint and reduces the drying time, which is exactly what we are aiming for. I also left the canvas for a complete two days before starting to paint on it because I just wanted the background to be non-sticky and dry. I've painted the basic shape of the ship using palette knives here and I've not used brushes at all because I wanted the crisp edges like I discussed in my previous video. Also as you can see at the bottom of the ship there should be water of course so I will create the effect of the reflection on water using brushes because it has to be sort of merged with the water. To show the storm approaching, I am shading out the sky with a little bit of dark shades of blue and green and we will be creating the effect of a full moon night. Also now you can see that I have painted out the background a lot with the shades of white and yellows just to create that sky effect. We will now be creating a dramatic effect of the ship with a big mast and having lots of ropes hanging around. To do that, I have used palette knives 95% of the time and brushes only to fix up a few of the edges. Also as you can see here, I am using a brush to apply the paint to the edge of the knife and then plant it on the canvas. You can of course pick up the paint uh, directly on the palette knife from the palette but I feel that it just wastes a lot of paint and also it creates a thick layer of paint which you know takes a lot of time to dry out and that is so not what we want while painting with the oil paints because I personally work creating a lot of layers and I need the other layer to be dry first before I jump onto the next layer. Of 
Also, you can notice that my mouth is moving a lot in this time lapse. That's because I sing most of the times while painting. It just clears out my head for new ideas. You can see here that I'm almost done with the mast and the ropes. Just cleaning out the edges of the ship now. The painting has pushed to the right because Dora came into and my tripod stand and just shifted towards the right. Sorry for that. Let's sign it off.